Hi, Jason Knott with CE Pro, and today we are talking about the outdoor technology market with Jim Mayo, Senior Director, Custom Install Sales and Strategy for Samsung. Hi, Jim. Hey, Jason. How are you? Thanks for having me today. Very cool. I'm glad to be talking to you about this subject. I love it. It is a hot subject, you know, and no pun on the weather intended there, but uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we know that the outdoor entertainment market really spurred up with COVID-19 during 2020. Where do you think it's going to head in 2021? Yeah, I think, you know, that when you look at everything, right, we, we've seen such a surge in demand for all things consumer electronics, right, through the year. But the, the I think the anticipation is, okay, everybody's got to get outside and that overall enthusiasm for consumer electronics might wane a little bit. We haven't seen that yet for the record. But, you know, when we it, when we see what's going to happen with the outdoor market, I mean, people want to get outdoors, right? And, you know, we we hit the ground running last year in this product category, which was just overwhelming success for us. And we think that outdoor is going to continue to grow dramatically. And we hope that we're, you know, raising all ships, as it were, right? And we're, as a brand, we're trying to bring more recognition to what can be done with CE outdoor outside of the home. Right. So people are going outside. We think it's going to be terrific. I mean, we're certainly planning product for that. You know, and I think the market was spurred by the fact that so many integrators when the initial pandemic hit so many technicians. People just didn't want technicians inside their home or any tradespeople, yeah. but they were really wanting to have somebody. They were OK with somebody in their yard. So it really fed that outdoor market. And it seems to be continuing, as you said. Yeah, it's just the momentum. I mean, all the great brands that have made products for years before we got here, right, into the outdoor space, um, really created the market, right? I think we're going to get in there and just add a big brand name to it, um, some historically great product. And, you know, what we're doing for the features and stepping up, I think it's going to make other manufacturers that also make great panels for outdoors. I think we're going to make them a little sharper. And I just think it's going to start to create some buzz around it. Uh, try to just expand the size of the market. People, the number of people that are putting products like that out in their backyard. All right, let's dig into the nitty gritty. Uh, you know, Samsung, as you mentioned just a second ago, entered into the outdoor space last year with a lot of fanfare, your terrace display and soundbar. Tell us a little bit about those product lines. Sure. So we really have two product lines that came into the market in 2020. We have a consumer version and a commercial version. The products are essentially the same. Both sides have 55, 65, 75. Both sizes of, or both sides are 3,500, 5,000, or 6,500 for our suggested retails. Uh, so the margins are the same. Or the prices are the same. What's a little bit different is for the consumer piece, we made it a 2,000 nit product, which is much brighter than anything else you see in the market. In some cases, we're three times the brightness of the product. So that's been a big hit. It's also got smart TV features, which means, you know, it's connectable wirelessly. It's got all the applications that you can imagine for a consumer. On the commercial side, we took a little bit of the brightness away. So it's got a 1500 peak brightness, uh, net peak brightness, excuse me. Um, but we give that a three-year warranty product, right? So it's a little bit of a trade-off there. And it also has all the business TV applications on the, com on the commercial side. Uh, so that's what we've had we had in 2020. It's all carrying over into 2021. Um, actually, I forgot one thing. I can't believe what I forgot is our soundbar, right? So we have a, we have an outdoor soundbar that goes with the product that's mountable, connects to the actual TV, or you connect it into a wall or whatever the TV is being mounted on, depending on what you want. In a lot of cases, right, we found that dealers or consumers didn't want to drill extra holes beneath the TV for the soundbar. So we actually made it a bracket that comes with the product. Um, available so it can be attached to the TV, but you do see the bracket. So, you know, you get like everybody, right? You can choose what you like in that thing. So that's last year that retails for 1200, uh, three channel, 2100 watts, Dolby 5.1 channel. It's got all it's Bluetooth. It's, it's got everything that you need. Um, so that's been selling really well. We got a much higher attachment rate on that outdoor stuff than we've ever seen on the consumer stuff. And our consumer stuff already does pretty well uh, on that indoor product. Excuse me. But for 2021, which I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get your original question, your 2021 difference is, is all that product staying the same into 2021? Remember, we didn't launch last year till May, June, so we're not even at a full year cycle yet, but we are going to add full sun product. So you're going to see a 75-inch full sun piece that's actually in market right now. 
We're just starting to ship that product. Um, again, you know, we found quickly, right, that you, you can't put this product in full sun unless it's full sun rated. So the only difference between the full sun product, really, it's the same chassis, same product. It's got a little less brightness. I think we're down to 1,500 nits. We are not making a commercial version of that right now. Okay. All right. So you mentioned Samsung's entry into the space, the first real big brand name to come into the outdoor uh, market space. What was the reaction from your dealer base uh, for your entry last May and, and since then? Well, you know, I'll put it to you this way, Jason. It wouldn't exist if it wasn't for them. Right. I mean, we've had a series of numbers, a series of meetings that I get the privilege of traveling to Korea with some of our CI dealers. And they pushed us and they pushed us to come out with an outdoor line of product. Um, so the reception we've had from all the buying groups, from all of our platinum dealers has just been overwhelming. They, they, they love the product. They love that it helps them achieve their goals for Samsung for the year. Um, you know, the, the, the technical, you know, we built it with them in mind. In fact, so many of them were included in the actual technical building of the product. So we, we built it with CI in mind and they, they just love it to death. It's been, it's been really a success for us. Do you know what I think is beneficial? It helps integrators. I think the biggest hurdle that they often face is with a customer who thinks that they could just put an indoor TV outside. And in this kind of throwaway society that we have today, they think I'll just put, something out there and if it gets bugs in it and water in it, I'll replace it. But it really helps them kind of, I think, make the case with an, with an integrator that, hey, look, here's a brand name who's bringing this specialized television. And these are not the same as indoor TVs. They are specially made to withstand the weather. And, the, and it helps them kind of withstand that first obstacle to even doing outdoor technology. Oh yeah, and what better way to tell that than to have the custom installers be the ones that are telling that story. Right. I mean, because they don't get that story at retail and that's where that where the problem comes in. So, yeah, I know it's been a, it's been really well. You know, people are explaining and teaching us terms like IP55, IP56 for the remotes. And, you know, it's been uh, it's been a great ride for us. And, you know, I thank the CI channel and the guys that are listening to this for helping us build that product. And again, please keep it coming. We've got a very, very receptive uh, product development team for new ideas. That's why, you know, going back to the frame, we come out with two sizes of frame. We weren't sure, but by the time the CI channel was done with us, Jason, we got five sizes of frame. And now we've got for the outdoor televisions, you know, we're going quickly into into full sun when last year they didn't think they were going to go into that. 